Hi dearest, so today we're going to be designing the blue hat. Yes, if you have been on the channel, you must have watched how to make the base. That was last week and this week we did how to mold the crown. Now today we're going to be doing the completion of designing the great hat. But before we get into that, who won the game competition for last week? It is IJ Pink Pink. Congratulations! Now, the reason why I had to give her this gift, let me explain, is because out of 244 videos that I have put up on my channel, she has given a comment of 232. Isn't that what rewarding? Congratulations once more, IG. You are attending all our 12 classes for free. It has to be lifted up. All 12 classes for free. Now, if you haven't watched to make the base of this hat and also the crown, please do check the description of this video you would find the links to watch it and so you'll be able to keep up to speed with how we design this hat now let's dive in okay so just in case you're like me and you couldn't get the exact color of the cinnamon you needed you can do that with car spray all right so this is how it turned out my royal blue crown and the base so the first thing you want to do is put your hat wire into your hat base now i'm sure if you have been watching um, all my other videos on molding, you already know how to cut your wire perfectly and put it together before you put it in your base. But if you don't know, check the description below. The um, description below, you will see links to them. The next thing you do is to glue it with Uhu gum. Now, the height of my crown is too high. So what I did was to cut out 1.5 inch from the crown so that it gets lower. So you can do this to the height you want it to be. But I wanted it to be like about 3.5, there about on the highest part. I didn't check the lowest part. So the next thing to do is get the midpoint of your crown. Now you take your razor and cut out like a rectangle or a square out. Once you do that, the next thing you have to do is take your scissors and you start cutting. It's called notching. You start cutting out in triangular form to where the um, circle ends, that circle on top, because you're going to put your crown inside to fit it perfectly so you have a complete hat. So that's what I'm going to do all the way round. So just follow this process and do it all the way round. Keep watching and learning. Game challenge for today. Did we use all the arrow bunch feathers in making this design? Okay, so this is what you get after you have done that. Now it is too long, so I'm gonna cut it short like so. So you need like just an inch to go into your base. After that, you put your uhu gum at the top part, not the inside, because the crown is going to fit on top and you want it to stick. So this is how you put your crown like so. Okay, then you turn it and use your hand and start pressing it. If you want good measure press down, you take your crown and you fit it in and leave it for a while to dry and fit perfectly together. Okay, so after a while, the next thing you take it off like so and you take your needle and thread and you're going to sew it all the way around. Where you glued, you're going to sew it round so that it is stuck there for life. <laughs> all right then, keep watching and learning. Amazon, Aliexpress and my links will be dropped in the description of this video in case you can't find any item used here in your local store. Okay, so once you're done with sewing it all round, now I take my bias and fold it into two halves and I'm going to be um, ironing it down. Now this is so that it will enable me to glue it around the rim of the hat perfectly well. Now that's what I'm doing now using my Uhu gum. And I want to start up a new... Um, a new video set of videos for membership only to explain some reasons why I do some certain things like this um, candle you can also use um, Uhu gum and I'll tell you the best if you become a member that we'll get to know later so the next thing with your straight Peter sham you put it all around the rim now that's to cover up your sewing and the joining although of course if you sew it well you won't even see the needle and thread like you can't see it in mine but you need to do this also for the hat to look neat and lovely after that was done i took my ostrich quill and i sewed it now when you're sewing the ostrich quill you first of all need to take the needle through the ostrich quill to hold it perfectly well then after that you take it around it and fit it perfectly 
Now we have two other feathers we're going to be making use of, this long slim feather. So all you need to do for these ones is to pull them out like so. And this um, owl bunch feathers, what you need to do is use your razor, cut out the thread and start turning it out, turning the thread round and all the feathers will fall off like so. Okay, so let's get sticking them. So what you do is you take those long slim feathers and you start gluing them and forming like a fan, a round fan with it. You space it out sparingly. That's what I did following the design you have to make. So you can do yours a different way, but that's how I did this. Okay, yes, we're going to be having also a video on the different the names of the different types of feathers coming also in those videos that are for members only. So do stick around and get to get the information on how that would run later on. Okay, now the next thing I did was to take those arrow feathers. Now they are free at a certain part of the stem. So all you need to do is cut it off at that free. At the length you also need of course and you start sticking it together yes as I was doing I remembered you got to glue the bias round first of all so that you don't stand bending the feathers when you did it so I had to stop that and I took my bias and put it all around the rim just beneath the Peter sham that I'd put round then I took a black Peter sham to put around the joining of the base and the crown to cover up the sewing there then you get back to putting your arrow feathers and I just put all of them round. I used the whole bunch. There's some bending, you just know how you're going to put it so it gets to this shape. You just be putting it round and it forms this lovely, beautiful hat. So if you love the design of this hat, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I made this nest hat, you want to click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I put up all my new videos. Oh, thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. Till we meet next time is goodbye and God bless.